it's easy to do a self-guided tour in Ulta and Wine in one day. In total, you'll walk about two miles, but you'll get the gist of the area. We had our taxi drop us off at Plaza Cologne. It's a great location for getting your feel of the culture of Old San Juan and there's also a taxi stand which makes drop off and pick up easy. Once we'd finished admiring all the pretty colored houses, we walked a couple blocks to Castillo de San Juan Cristobal to begin our true tour. There's a ramp you can walk up to see inside the castle, but it costs $20 a person. So we just enjoyed walking up the ramp and enjoying the view from the height before we walked on down and checked out all of the areas around it. One thing that makes touring Old San Juan easy is the plaques that are put up on the seawall the whole length between the two castles. Next we walk the seawall and look down into La Perla. That is such an intriguing culturally filled area. As you walk down the seawall you'll see the beauty in the graffiti but you'll also notice the political strife that Puerto Rico is going through at this time. As you continue your walk, you'll pass Museo de la America and become onto the green spaces of Castillo de San Felipe del Moro. The walkway up to Castillo del San Felipe del Moro is very long, but it's well worth the experience. When you get to the castle, it is $20 if you want to go inside, which we chose not to do. We just enjoyed walking all the way around it and enjoying the views. The citizens of San Juan are fortunate to have this green space to just hang out, have picnics, fly kites, and enjoy the ocean breeze. We grabbed some snacks from a street vendor and just picked a piece of grass, sat down, down and watch the people. One thing to note, if when you're facing the castle, you take the sidewalk to the right and walk as far as you can, you'll have some great photo ops with the flags of Puerto Rico above the castle, as well as the coastline facing back to Castillo de San Cristobal. Once finished exploring the castle, we started to move interior and went to the Plaza del Quinto Centurio. It's a very interesting place to not only check out for the statues, but make sure you read the plaques. As you're touring around, make sure you stop and listen to the street musicians. It adds to the whole experience of being an old San Juan. No trip to old San Juan would be complete without having a pina colada. Once you've been refreshed the pina colada, just continue down the cobblestone streets toward Plaza Colon. In this area, there are several amazing restaurants. Note, some of them do take reservations. After you've enjoyed a great Puerto Rican dinner, then head on down to Plaza Colon to the taxi stand and end your day in Old San Juan. <laughs>